Lady. Uh, New Britain, hard hit New Britain, as we like to call it, is uh, facing a mayoral, mayoral election. Uh, as you know, the incumbent, uh, Tim O'Brien, uh, has been in office now for a while. And he claims to have done a pretty good job. Uh, there is somebody who would uh, tend to disagree. And uh, just a couple of days ago, she got the nod as the Republican nominee. Uh, her name is Erin Stewart. And if the last name sounds familiar, well, Erin, first of all, good morning. And I guess there's a reason that the name Stewart might sound familiar to some people. Hi, good morning, Ray. How is everybody doing today? Hi, thank you. <laughs> so, me so do you really want to do this? You're 26 years old. You've got your whole life ahead of you, and you, <laughs> and you, and you want to do this? Of course, I want to do this. Uh, it was there were a number of factors that that helped me make my decision, and to my father's uh, disdain, I. I chose to, to go ahead with this because it pains me to see what's happening to our city on a daily basis. You know, the, the spending spree that's happening in New Britain, we can't afford it. Our taxes are extremely high. Uh, people are moving out. Young families are moving out. We're not making uh, any effort to keep our young families here in New Britain. And that's what the future of our city is. And if we don't embrace the youth in our city and, and the young families, what are we going to become? Right. And so that, um, that's why you're there. You're 26. You can certainly relate, certainly by age. <laughs> sure. Sure. 26. But surprisingly, I have been for 10 years now uh, serving the city on numerous boards and commissions. I uh, wow. started on the Board of Youth and Family Services, moved on to Commission for Community and Neighborhood Development, where I served as vice chair and chairman of the Budgeting Committee, and most recently uh, as an elected member to the New Britain Board of Education. Erin, how big a deal? I, I just uh, pulled up a couple of stories. One is, of course, car taxes went up. Uh, you had a reval, which uh, also had to make the mill rate go up a little bit. So you've got, I mean, you are facing, our, what kind of revenue problems are you facing in town? Sure. So uh, what had happened this year is we had, uh, under the current mayor, a 20% tax hike. Our mill rate was 36.63. We went up to 44.12. Um, that's 20%, and uh, people can't afford it, but, but our taxes haven't been risen uh, equally. So you've got some people who are actually paying less on their homes, but others who are paying about $1,400 more. Hey, Aaron, let, let me ask you this. I mean, you know, I'm looking ahead to the future, because that's really, I, I think, what we're talking about here. Where does New Britain go? You've got a pretty good manufacturing base. A lot of them people aren't familiar with, but you do have some manufacturers there that are doing some great stuff. Is that what you build it upon, or what? Oh, we have to. We've got to become business-friendly. I mean, we're talking about when Stag Arms was discussing leaving New Britain. They, rumor had it, they called for an interview with the mayor of New Britain, and, and he declined. He passed them off on his staff. We've got to make a priority to meet with our, our business owners like that, our manufacturers, because we've got to keep jobs in New Britain if we want our city to grow. You know, I've, I've said this a, a million times. I'll say it again. I absolutely love Britain, but our residents are fed up with government. We need to restore trust in government and get somebody back in there that has the ability to look someone straight in the face and not lie to them. You know, it's time for a new mayor. It's time for a new generation of leadership. And uh, I'm excited to bring that to the table. Aaron, as you can, as you know from your father, uh, one of the one of his chief opponents were the unions, the town employees. Is that going to be a problem for you? Absolutely not. Can you well, get them to I vote guess, for you? I guess I can't really predict the future, but <laughs> I wouldn't intend on it. <laughs> no, but I, I do remember. You know, there was a lot of friction between them because I mean, your father was looking at, and we let's talk about you. But one of the problems you that know, he that was that he was facing was you've got the you know, this is a very expensive town to run. That it is, but it, you know he is tough. He is tough to deal with. I'm not saying I'm going to be a softie by any means, but um, <laughs> I look forward to having his guidance along the way. I, I think that that you know he would be the best person to turn to, having done the job for eight years. Um, now we're making a mistake, and we'll be me making the decision at the end okay. of the day. Okay. Um, I just want to say really quick, in, in addition to myself getting the endorsement and endorse my team, um, all of my candidates running for city council, we're interested this year. We're very unique in the fact that I didn't endorse all Republicans to run with me. I know. I independent Democrats. I even endorsed right. Libertarian. Um, okay. I think that that really encompasses what New Britain is all about, and I right. look forward to the campaign. Well, first of all, I think you've got a leg up because you say New Britain properly, so I've got to give that to you. And I, can, I, can, I can tell you're a native. Hey, listen, Eric, good luck to you. We'll talk between now and the election, okay? Yeah, thanks, Ray. Take care. All right, talk to you later, 625.